Welcome to Olivanus, makers of fine wands since the year 382 BC. I am the wand. I see that many of you have come with this award thing, and I welcome you. But I do request quiet during this very complicated process. I am sensing an interesting magic in you. Have you come for a wand fitting? Yeah. And what is your name? Sylvan. Sylvan? Yeah. Now, stay right here. You may want to place your mother device right over here. Now, which hand will you be using for your wand, right or left? Right hand, or it's straight out across the desk like that. Perfect. Now, Sylvan, you may know that all Ollivander's wands are made of wood. Particular types of wood are of wand quality. You may put your arm down. All wands contain a core of a powerful magical substance. We use unicorn hair, phoenix tail feathers, and the heartstrings of dragons. No two Ollivander's wands are quite the same, just as no two unicorn phoenixes or dragons are quite the same. And you'll never get such good results from another wizard's wand. Yes. There we are. Now, this is a wand of poplar. It's 13 inches long with a dragon heart string core. Now this is a good solid wand. Are you prepared to cast a spell? Now, over in the corner, just above the heads, do you see the bell? I'm going to have you make that bell three times larger. All right? So first, point your wand at the bell. Be careful not to point it at the gentleman just below the bell. <laughs> you don't want that to happen again. Now, you're going to move your wand in a circular fashion and say, Engorge you. This is not your wand. May I ask how old you are? Twenty-five. Twenty-five years old? And you've never been fitted for a wand before? No. Hmm. Have you been sorted into a house? Gryffindor, Ravenclaw, Hufflepuff? No. No? Very well. Let's try this one. Now this is a wand of laurel. It's 14 inches long with a phoenix feather core. Now this is a terribly picky wand. So then you may notice that the room is rather dark. So I'm going to have you provide us all just a little bit of light with the tip of your wand. All right, so first point your wand straight at that wall. There you are. Now you're going to turn your wrist so the wand is straight up and down. Lastly, I'm going to ask you to move it just a little bit further away from my face. Thank you so very much. Now, Leave it pointing straight up, focus right here, and say, Lumos. Well, that was rather curious, but this, this is also not your wand. Hmm. You see, it is clear to those of us who have studied wand law that it is the wand that chooses the wizard. What is not so clear is why. Now this
this is a wand that can sense integrity and a love of beasts, I believe. Bodes well for you as this wand chooses leaders, especially ones who intend to use magic for good. I expect you'll work well together. I'm going to hand your wand off to my assistant who can answer your questions. But who have you brought with you today? Uh, is it a friend? Husband? husband? Random stranger off the streets of Hogsby? <laughs> so husband, husband, join us up here at the desk. Five minutes later. <laughs> 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 